Thank you to all our delegations. I'm pleased to announce that Vice President Joe Biden has officially been nominated by the Democratic Party as our candidate for President of the United States. Vice President Biden is hereby invited to deliver an acceptance speech. Well, thank you very, very much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all. It means the world to me and my family. And I'll see you on Thursday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we want to honor John Lewis's incredible life, let's restore the Voting Rights Act and ensure that our democracy belongs to all Americans. Alabama casts eight votes for Bernie Sanders, and the great state of Alabama casts 52 votes for our next president of these United States, Joe Biden. California, home to our next vice president, Kamala Harris, cast 231 votes for Bernie Sanders and, and 263 votes for our next president, Joe Biden. Indiana casts two votes for my friend Bernie Sanders and 86 votes for the next president, Joe Biden. Iowa. We were going to talk to you tonight about biofuels, but the powerful storm that swept through Iowa last week has taken a terrible toll on our farmers, our small businesses, and our families who are still without power. So while we have the honor of casting Iowa's votes, 11 for Bernie Sanders and 38 for Joe Biden, we also want to ask you to keep Iowans in your thoughts during this difficult time. Joe Biden believes in American workers. He's got our back and we've got his. Michigan cast 53 votes for Bernie Sanders and 92 votes for our next president, Joe Biden. Montana. When COVID shut down my college, I came home to my parents' ranch to finish senior year online. But some days I can't even get a video to load or an email attachment to send. Without reliable internet, there's no remote learning, no virtual doctor's appointments, and just try starting a small business. Rural broadband can be a game changer for rural communities like mine, and Joe Biden has a plan to make it happen. Montana cast one vote for Bernie Sanders and 18 votes for our next president, Joe Biden. I am proud to cast 24 votes for Bernie Sanders and 25 votes for our next president, Joe Biden. It seems like every time working people believe in a Donald Trump promise, they wind up getting screwed. Well, Joe Biden has more than just a promise. He actually has a plan to bring jobs back to America. Like electric vehicles or a national network of vehicle charging infrastructure that'll create good paying jobs for skilled union workers like Josh, and the future will be made in America. Ohio cast 20 votes for Senator Bernie Sanders and 134 votes for the next president, Joe Biden. Oh wait, we are all united by the love of this beautiful place that we call home. And we believe that we owe it to the next generation to protect the natural and cultural resources that are their inheritance. And to that end, also respect tribal sovereignty. New Mexico proudly casts Four votes for Bernie Sanders and 42 votes for the next president of the United States of America, Joe Biden. Rhode Island, the ocean state, where our restaurant and fishing industry have been decimated by this pandemic, are lucky to have a governor, Gina Raimondo, whose program lets our fishermen sell their catches directly to the public, and our state appetizer, calamari, is available in all 50 states. The Calamari Comeback State of Rhode Island casts one vote for Bernie Sanders and 34 votes for the next president, Joe Biden. This year, I'm casting my very first presidential vote for Joe Biden. Women will decide this election and we'll replace Donald Trump with a president who respects us. 
Tennessee cast 23 votes for Bernie Sanders and 50 votes for our next president of the United States, Mr. Joseph R. Biden. The state of Vermont, strongly believing in economic justice, social justice, racial justice, and environmental justice, proudly supporting democracy and the Constitution of the United States, and vehemently opposed to the authoritarianism and racism of the Trump administration, is proud to cast 15 votes for Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and nine votes for the next president of the United States, Joe Biden. Virginia. Three years ago, my beloved city, Charlottesville, Virginia, was attacked by white supremacists and a young woman was killed. We were attacked again when Donald Trump praised those racists turning his back on a community that just wanted peace. That was the day Joe Biden decided to join this battle for the soul of America. Over time, my wife, Ghazala, and I have come to know his soul. He's a decent, compassionate man. He will bring this nation together. Virginia cast 32 votes for Bernie Sanders and 91 votes for our President Joe Biden. <laughs> 